cataractcoach.com using the FACO vacuum to lift the nucleus. So you bring the lens equator out of the back to facilitate chopping in this variation of flip and chop. So our surgeon here is going to do a routine cataract case here. When I do flip and chop, you notice that I use the BSS on a cannula, the hydro dissection, to gently prolapse part of the nucleus out of the capsule bag. I just want to get one side of that lens equator up so I can see what's going on, and then I can go from there. This surgeon is going to do something a little different, using the vacuum holding power of the phaco probe, going to buzz into the nucleus and use that high vacuum holding power and just lift the whole nucleus, or at least part of the nucleus, out of the capsule bag. And once that's done, the flip and chop technique can be resumed. So you can see here's a nice looking rexus. The key in this case is you can't have a baby rexus. If you have a four millimeter rexus, you're not going to be able to bring this nucleus up. You need to have that five to five and a half millimeter rexus. Now here's the hydro dissection. And let's see, or maybe just rotation of the nucleus. There's some hydro dissection, a little bit of a fluid wave. You can see we lost a little viscoelastic there. Rotating that nucleus, see if it gets rotated. You definitely want it to rotate, right? If it does not spin, you will not win. And so here it's spinning pretty, uh, pretty reasonably. That's enough. It just breaks the adhesion so you know it's not stuck to the capsule bag. Now here comes the chopper on the left hand, faker probe on the right, going in there, going bevel down, buzzing in, buzz, buzz, buzz. And now position two on the pedal and faco vacuum only. Look at that. You're holding it up. You kind of lollipopped it. You put the faco probe in the nucleus and there, you tilted it up and chopped it. And here's the next piece and tilting it up and chopping it again. And you can repeat, bring it up, tilt it here, and chop it. Now, this is a pretty reasonable cataract, not too dense. And so you'll see these pieces can be removed very efficiently. So a little bit more chopping going on here. And there you go. Now you've got a whole bunch of small pieces. They've all been chopped. Now, I usually bring it up, chop it in half, and start to maybe in a quarter then, and start removing pieces. This surgeon likes to chop them all up into all small pieces first, and then emulsify them. And again, you want to operate about the iris plane. Don't want to operate right up against the endothelium, of course. And yes, these patients have clear corneas the next day. So this is obviously a very experienced surgeon. You can see it's a very efficient surgery. And so now removing the cataract pieces pretty easily. Flip and chop is really a reasonable way to start learning phaco chop. And the ideal patient there is going to be, you know, two to three plus nuclear sclerosis. Maybe not the ultra-dense ones and certainly not the very soft ones. Those are going to be very difficult. But if you get two to three plus nuclear sclerosis, I think those patients are very amenable. Their eyes, it'll work very well, and you can do this flip and chop technique. Either do it the way I showed you, which is using the BSS on a cannula during hydro dissection to prolapse it up, or you can do like this surgeon, who's then going to just use the vacuum holding power. Here's just Simcoe cannula to clean up that little bit of cortex that's remaining. That comes out pretty easily. And then get the lens in, and boom, surgery is done. So always fun to watch surgeons from across the globe. I particularly enjoyed visiting surgeons in Brazil, some truly amazing surgeons. Here's the lens going in here. Now you may be wondering, well, why such a big incision and why not a foldable lens? And, you know, sometimes depending on the economic circumstances, patients may not have access to the more expensive technologies here. But you can see a beautiful result there. Watch not the viscoelastic with the, the Simcoe cannula. IOLs in the capsule bag. It looks great. And this patient's going to have a nice outcome here. Just seal up that incision and call it done. Beautiful case. Thank you for watching. And please, check out the website too, cataractcoach.com.